Over the years, automakers have consolidated accessory drive components such as the alternator, air conditioning compressor, water pump, and power steering pump onto a single multi-rib serpentine belt. Consolidating these components onto a single belt helped reduce the complexity and cost of manufacturing. In some cases, by designing a separate drive for just the AC compressor, the water pump, or the power steering pump, the car manufacturer can solve certain noise and vibration problems and create a more compact engine compartment. In 2009, with the introduction and addition of a separate two-pulley drive, manufacturers began adding a new type of belt to the accessory drive system, the stretch belt. While they may look the same as a conventional serpentine belt on the outside, these belts have a unique internal construction that allows them to function without the need for a mechanical tensioner to maintain constant belt tension. Eliminating the need for a tensioner allows automotive engineers to reduce the number of components that share the primary belt drive, reduce belt drive friction losses, save weight, and design more compact accessory drives. Let's take a closer look at a stretch belt and some of the things that make them unique. This stretch multi-V belt from Continental incorporates low modulus and high elongation technologies that allow the belt to be installed on fixed drive systems while providing the self-tensioning capabilities necessary to maintain proper belt tension in the absence of an automatic tensioner. The stretch multi-V belt is designed with the latest OEM technology in EPDM compounds and polyamide tensile cord. The cord is designed to elongate and stretch during installation, but recover to maintain proper tension. Continental Stretch Multi-V belts are slightly shorter than fit length, so once installed, they automatically achieve the proper tension and maintain that tension over the life of the belt. To avoid confusion between these belts and traditional serpentine belts, aftermarket belt manufacturers add identifiers to their part numbering to indicate that the belt is a stretch fit application. E for elastic or S for stretch are commonly used to identify stretch to fit belts. In the case of Continental, the functional part number for a stretch belt includes the number of ribs and length and has an S suffix, indicating that it's an OE Technology Series stretch multi-V belt. Continental stretch belts for imports include elast in the part number suffix. Both are an indication that the part is a stretch belt. A couple of other key points to keep in mind when recommending a stretch multi-V belt. Although this stretch multi-V belt looks like Continental's standard multi-V belt, it's dramatically different and is not interchangeable with the multi-V belt or any other serpentine belt. A good indicator that the belt is a stretch belt is the absence of a belt tensioner. It's important to look at the belt sleeve and the printing on the belt to confirm it is indeed a stretch belt. In addition, always confirm the correct stretch belt by using the electronic parts catalog and the belt numbering for the specific make, model, and engine. Continental Multi-V belts should not be used on drives designed for stretch belts. Conversely, stretch Multi-V belts should not be used on drives that incorporate an automatic tensioner. Stretch Multi-V belts require the same inspection process as the standard Multi-V belt. Stretch belts can last 100,000 miles, but mileage can vary with the application. When a stretch belt is at the end of its life, it's no longer able to effectively grip the pulleys and it'll start slipping. All multi-V belts should be checked for any damage. Groove depth should be measured using a belt gauge to check for any significant wear. It's a good idea to replace all the serpentine belts at the same time if belts are showing wear. But if a stretch belt shows wear or must be removed for any reason, the stretch belt should be replaced. Never reuse a stretch belt. Because of their self-tensioning properties, stretch belts are meant to be a one-time use component. If your customer needs to remove a stretch belt to gain access to a traditional serpentine belt, the stretch belt must be replaced with a new belt. The easiest way to remove a stretch belt is to simply cut it with a utility knife. Stretch belts are designed to stretch over one of the pulleys during installation, usually the crank or the largest pulley. As the belt is intended to fit tight, installation may require a special tool that acts as a ramp on the leading edge of the pulley. And in some cases, a zip tie is all that's needed. Before ordering a stretch belt, check the catalog for special tools needed. Continental even makes available some of the tools required for proper installation. Each application is unique, so your customer should always follow the OE installation procedures. One note of caution is to never use a screwdriver or any other sharp object to install a stretch belt. Tools such as a screwdriver can cut the belt or damage the pulley, causing premature belt failure. Thanks for watching.